Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you step by step how you can transfer your complete website plus all your emails and email accounts and your domain name from one web hosting provider to another one. Maybe your current website is too slow or you're not happy with the support or the renewal rates are really high. Well, in this tutorial I will show you step by step how to move everything to a new web hosting provider. Let me show you the steps we will take. I will show you how to make a backup of your website using two different free tools. Then we will make a backup of our emails and email accounts, both incoming and outgoing emails. And then we will transfer our email account to the new web hosting provider, install an exact copy of our current website. And last but not least, I will show you how to transfer your domain from your current web hosting provider to your new web hosting provider. So you have everything at one place. When I go to fast for you, you can go to the settings of the YouTube video and change the playback speed to a slower one. Or you can click on the left arrow on your keyboard and go back five seconds in the video. In the description of the video, I have timestamps. So if you want to go to a certain part of the video, you can click on one of the timestamps and you go directly to that part of the video. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. And now let's get started with the first thing we will do. We will make backups of our current website. So in my case, I will transfer the complete website of affiliate marketing course.com and all the email accounts that are related to affiliate marketing course. And I'll show you step by step how to do that. So the first thing I will do, I will log in. I can do that using WP admin. And I want to go to plugins and make sure that all the plugins are up to date. So if you take a look at my website, I sell my course over here and people can learn how to start with affiliate marketing through YouTube. I go to my account. I scroll down, I can follow my course. I'm using learn to do this. By the way, I have a tutorial on how to create a website like this. And there I show you step by step what I am doing. So it's a really important uh, website for me and that's why I want to transfer it safely. So what I will do, I will do a few things in order to make a backup of our website, but I will still use all the simple tools. So I go to the back end and when everything is up to date, I go to plugins at new. And I search for all in one WP migration. I see it's already installed, but you can search for this. Then you click on install now over here. And when you've done that, you click on activate. And when you've done that here at the left, you see all in one WP migration and I click on export. And I click on export to fail. I'm using this tool already for years. It never failed me. It's amazing. It's so easy. This will make a backup of our website and our database all together in just one file that we can upload to our new website. So it's a big file, 520 megabytes. I download it. And meanwhile, I go to plugins at new. I want to make a double backup. Also using another tool, just in case WP Vivid. There it is from the W Vivid team, more than 200,000 installations. Install now. I activate it. Okay, I want to uh, use the database and files. So I click on backup now. I want to send it to my local computer. Backup now. So I will just download it. Now it will prepare. Okay, the compression is finished. I scroll down and now over here, December the 1st, I can click on download. There are three files. One two and three and there they go. Great. We have two backups now of our website. So we're super secure and safe. Now let's take a look at our emails and email accounts. And we also make a backup of those. The best thing you can use in order to make this work is an email client like MacMail or Microsoft Outlook. So let's get started with that. Now I want to go to my email account. I use MacMail. So I go to mail. You can also use Outlook, whatever works for you. And also here I will do a double backup. So oh, I already have my files over here. They can stay here and these files or these emails, I will drag them literally to my new email account. But just to make things sure, I will make a backup. So I say right mouse click, export mailbox. I go to my desktop. I create a new folder, affiliate marketing course backup create and then i can create a new folder in there 
email. Create. And I click on choose. So let's take a look at my desktop. There it is. The same I will do with my outbox or my send emails. Right mouse click, export mailbox over here. So I check it again. Email. There you go. I go back. Command N. I go to my download folder. I want to drag all those affiliate and marketing course backups over here. So I have everything in one place. My emails, my backup through all in one WP migration and my backup through WP Vivid. Okay, this is what I will leave now. Now I want to get my new web hosting provider. Okay, part of people in the house, our website is backed up. I don't know if that's the right word, backed up, backed, back up, whatever. And our emails and email accounts. And now we want to go to the new web hosting provider. And in my case, it will be Hostinger. Why? They're fast, they have great support, and they're really affordable. Also, when you go to the renewal rates, they're still affordable. And with other web hosting providers, it can be that the first year is really cheap. You get 300 trillion percent discount. And then the second year, you pay so much money for it. So I choose Hostinger, but it can be anything for you. You can transfer your website from one web hosting provider you have right now to any other web hosting provider. This video will still show you a lot on how you need to do things. In my case, it will be Hostinger. So let me show you how I will do that. In order to go there, we go to webhosting26.com. And then when you scroll down, you see three plans. Well, if you want to create more than one website, I definitely would go with a premium shared hosting. And then you can create up to 100 websites and you will get a domain name for free. It will cost you $2.99 per month, which is an amazing competitive price. And, and when you renew, it can be after one year or four years. When you renew, you start to pay $6.99. Still really affordable if you take a look at the whole web hosting market. And you can have up to 100 websites. You can have up to 100 gigabyte of web space, which is more than enough for 100 websites and up to 25,000 visits per month. And when you get this, I hope that for you, that means you will have a lot of business. Then you can upgrade later to 100,000 visits per month. And this is just a little bit, and you pay $1 extra per month. So I add this to the cart. And now when you scroll down, what you can do, you can get this deal for four years. That means that for four years long, you pay just $2.99 per month, which is a total of $143, or you go for 12 months, and then you pay just $36. The difference is if you choose 12 months, after 12 months, you start to pay $9 per month, which is still a great deal. If you go for the long run, 24 months, you start to pay $8 per month after the discount term. And when you go for four years, after that, you start to pay $7 per month. So the longer you go, the more discount you get. I go for 12 months and I can scroll down. And then over here, look at this. I have a coupon code. If you fill in 30, you click on the plus, you get even more discount. So 269. So now if you go for four years, you just pay $130 and you get a free domain name. I think this is an amazing deal. So I go for 24 months, $2.69 per month. And after that, $8 per month, I scroll down and I need to create an account. So over here, I fill in my email address. I scroll down, I can select my payment method. I can pay with credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, or and depending where you come from, if you come from India, you can pay with Paytm, with net banking or UPI. If you're from the Netherlands, you can pay with Ideal. So I choose credit cards and I see I get a free domain name. Two years of fast web hosting for just $64.56. My coupon code is applied. I fill in my details over here and then I click on submit secure payment. And we will be redirected to the control panel. So there we are. I need to create a password. So let's do that. I need to confirm my password. And I click on confirm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to install WordPress. And by the way, if you like this video, please like this video. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials about WordPress related stuff, how to create a web shop, how to create a social media website, how to create a website for your business with Elementor, with Divi, with Joomla. No, not with Joomla. But feel free to subscribe or not. Hey, it's your life. You can make choices. It's choice time. I'm serious. No, I'm not serious. Just kidding. Do whatever you want to do, but uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Let's continue to install WordPress.
Then I click on start now. And I want to skip this area. I want to create a new website. So I click on create a new website. I click on select. And I want to use WordPress. I don't need to add WooCommerce. I want to have my administrator email, this one. And I create an administrator password. Of course, you need to remember that when you log into your WordPress website. And I click on continue. I can install a certain theme, but I don't need that. So I click on, I don't need a template. And now I can claim my free domain, but I want to create my website on this domain. I already have this domain at SiteGround. So what I will do, I will say I already have a domain. I click on select, use an existing domain. My existing domain is this one, affiliatemarketingcourse.com. Remove all the stuff, only the name and the extension.com. Continue. Okay, what's saying right now? I'm using an existing domain. So what I need to do right now, the existing name servers are from SiteGround. So what I need to do, I need to go to SiteGround and change the name servers from SiteGround to this one. So I copy this one, then I go to SiteGround. I go to services, domains, and here I see affiliatemarketingcourse.com. I click on manage. And then over here, I want to manage the name servers. So I click on manage name servers. And I change the first one to this one. And the second one to this one. I click on confirm. This will take a while before the changes will take place. So what I need to do right now, I need to go over here. I click on continue, finish that up. So right now WordPress will be installed. Okay, right now we are installing WordPress and it's really important to create our email account. Why? Because later on we will change our DNS service. Okay, now <laughs> I'm talking like a lot of complicated stuff. Let me make it simple. What we will do, we will make sure that our domain name is pointing to our new web hosting provider. In my case, Hostinger. When they switch from the old web hosting provider to the new one, I also need to have that same email address on the new web hosting provider. Otherwise, when people send the emails and I don't have an email account yet at my Hostinger account, then I don't receive those emails anymore because it's not pointing to SiteGround anymore, but to Hostinger. So before that happens, that switch, it can happen between now and two hours. I want to create exact the same email address at Hostinger. So when the switch happens, we do not know exactly when it happens. I can still receive all my emails. Did I really need so much words in order to explain this? Yes. So let's do that right now after we installed WordPress. So it will take a while before everything is processed. So I go to the control panel by clicking on manage site. And now I want to go to emails here at the top. By the way, I have a complete tutorial about hosting. If you want to watch that one, you can click over here. And over here, I see affiliatemarketingcourse.com. So what I can do now, I can create a free email account by clicking on manage. I choose free email, select, and I create 30 at affiliate marketing course. Just as over here, take a look at the receiver 30 affiliate marketing course. This is also my account admin. I'll create a password and the password recovery email. I click on create new account. And look at this, our email address is created. I can log in into my webmail or I can click on done. And now I see my email account over here. It's really simple. I can go to emails, then affiliate marketing course, manage. Now I can go to configure desktop app. Now I can configure my IMAP email structure. Always use IMAP, never use pop this one. Don't use this one, but use IMAP. That means that all your devices that have your email account active will sync with each other. I'll explain to you what I mean. So what I want to do now, I want to copy the incoming server, copy. Now I go to Mac mail. You can go to Outlook or another client. I go to mail, add an account, other mail account, continue. The name will be affiliate marketing course and right now i will call this one new so uh, i don't get confused with the other one my email address is 30 at affiliate marketing course.com 
my password, which I have created. I click on sign in. Now my username is also ferdy at affiliate marketing course.com. And at IMAP, I paste my incoming mail server. Then I go to the outgoing server, which is the same, which has the same name. And I copy the username again and I paste it here. And I click on sign in. I don't want to sync my notes, only my email. So I click on done. Look at this. I drag this to the right. Okay, I know this is the new one and it has nothing. What I can do now, I go to affiliate marketing course, command A, hold alt, so I can duplicate them into my new account. And now they are there. The same with outgoing emails. Command A, hold alt, drag them over here. So now I have them all duplicated, even with the flags and stuff. Now, if I go to my website and I go to emails, affiliate marketing course, manage, and I go to email accounts, this one, I click over here and I go to webmail. Look at this. There they are, all those emails. And this one, Brad Russell, if I take a look here, it's flagged and that is exactly what I see over here. Not flagged, but it's a star. So, so if I go to this one from Nathan and I make it a star, look at this. It's a star, it's a flag. So everything is in sync with each other. If I decide to remove this one from November 28th, and I go to my webmail and I refresh the page. It's gone. Everything is in sync with each other. So what else can we do? We can go to websites and here we see affiliate marketing course.com. I click on manage. I go to WordPress dashboard and then I want to click on edit website. But I see it's still redirecting to the current domain. So what I need to do, I need to be patient and once in a while click over here again. And for me, after 10 minutes, I could go to my WordPress installation from Hostinger. You see, it's not secure yet. I dismiss this message and now I want to install our backup on this website. So first I go to pages, remove all the pages, bring them to the trash, go to the trash, empty the trash. Then I go to plugins. I remove them all. Or deactivate so I go to plugins select this doc actions deactivate all the plugins and I want to remove them all except for all in one WP migration doc actions delete apply I want to activate all in one WP migration again and click on import then I want to import it from a file over here or what I can do the second way is to plugins add new WP vivid install now activate I scroll down I go to uploads and I drag the files over here one two and three And I click on upload. The upload has been completed. And now I can restore this. So I go to backups. This is the one I've uploaded and I click on restore. And I click again on restore. I'm sure. Yes. How many times do I have to click? Make sure that this number is 19596 instead of 19597. If it's a 7, leave the room. Your computer is about to explode. Just kidding. You can see the progress as far as you can. And I can understand this. <laughs> and it says the restoration is successfully. So now I need to log in with the details over here from my original website. So I click on login. Okay, now I go to settings, general, 
and make sure that there's an S over here and an S over here. It can be that your website will go offline for a moment. But in my case, and in your case, probably also your website will be live. So we have exactly the same websites at SiteGround as at HostGator. So when the switch will happen, so when the name service will point to Hostinger instead of SiteGround, because that can take a while, then everything in the website will stay the same. One more thing, if I go to the dashboard of Hostinger, I need to force HTTPS over here at Websites, Affiliate Marketing Course, Manage, WordPress, Dashboard, Force HTTPS. I turn it on. So now automatically our website will be secure. So what we have now, if I go to AffiliateMarketingCourse.com, it is working. What I also can do, I can grab this link, go and search for find name servers from domain ns lookup show ns records and what i see dns parking dns parking which is from hostinger so we know that our complete websites plus incoming outgoing emails are now completely copied to in this case hostinger and that is the way the cookie crumbles. Let's take a look at the website if everything is working. Also here, I have access to my course content. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting further and further in this tutorial. I hope everything is working out for you as it is working out in my case. If it's not, maybe you have a different web hosting provider, maybe you get stuck. Please reach out to the customer support of your web hosting provider the new one, uh, or you can leave an email or a message here below. And if I see a lot of the same comments, then I know, hey, maybe I should focus more on, on this part in the tutorial. And what I want to talk about now, it's a bonus, this, this, this free, all the other stuff, it's also free, but this is really free. How to transfer your domain? Because right now, everything in my case is at Hostinger or almost, yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, now I want to transfer my domain name from SiteGround to Hostinger. So I have everything in one place. And with Hostinger, uh, having a domain name at Hostinger is twice as cheap as with SiteGround. So I have 75 domain names at SiteGround right now. It will save me $750 per year, which is quite a nice amount of money. So I'm transferring it and I will show you how you can do the same. So let's get right to it. So in order to transfer your domain name, you need to have an EPP code. What does it stand for? I have no idea, but you need it. In order to get it at SiteGround, we go to services, domains, and I go to affiliate and marketing course. I click on manage. And it doesn't matter when you got this, mine expires in a month, but if it expires in six months, you still need to pay the whole amount at your new web hosting provider. So I'm lucky. I only have a one month of double payments. And what do I mean by that? I already paid last January the 8th for a whole year. So even if I would transfer it after a month or two months after my payment, I do not get money in return. I still pay the whole amount. So I go to the three dots in my case, get an EPP code, send the code. Okay, it will be sent to my email account. Now I go to hostinger.com, I log in. Then I go to domains. And over here I see transfer an existing domain. Yes. So I copy my domain, paste it over here, and I click on transfer. It's even cheaper. It's not $10, but $9. I click on complete payment. I use my existing account and I need to paste my EPP code. I got it from my email. I paste it and I use the Hostinger DNS records. Then I click on transfer domain. And it says your domain transfer will take up to five to seven business days to complete. You can check the process on your domain list. So I click on continue. Uh, the domain provider will approve the transfer. We're waiting for that. Our name servers are, are already correct. So everything will go right automatically. So everything is transferred. Our website, our emails, our email accounts, our domain, everything. And it's working. I hope it's working for you again if you get stuck reach out to the support or leave a comment and um, feel also free to leave your um, social security number. No, not your social security 
Leave a comment if you have any question or you have any feedback on this video. If you like this video also, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to like the video and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. And then enjoy your new web hosting provider and enjoy your day. And if you want to enjoy tomorrow too, then tomorrow come back to this video, to this part where I say enjoy today. And if you watch it every day, then every day I wish you to you that you enjoy your day. Wow. YouTube is awesome. Unless you watch this from an illegal site. Somebody ripped my video from YouTube and placed it somewhere else. And Last time, somebody came up to me. Hey, I know you from Baidu. I'm like, what? Okay. Never mind. Hey, um, have a great day. Bye bye.